Discourse in the Novel is a seminal essay by the Russian philosopher and literary critic Mikhail M. Bakhtin, first published in 1934-1935 in the journal Leningradskaya Pravda. The essay is part of Bakhtin's larger project to develop a theory of language and culture that is grounded in the study of literature, especially the novel. The central argument of the essay is that the novel is a unique literary form that allows for the representation and analysis of different discourses or languages. Bakhtin defines discourse as a way of speaking that is associated with a particular social group or individual, and that reflects their values, beliefs, and worldview. Discourse is not only a matter of words, but also of tone, style, and genre. Bakhtin contends that the novel is distinct from other literary genres, such as the epic or the lyric, because it is open to different voices and perspectives. In the novel, different characters and social groups can express themselves through their own discourses, creating a polyphonic or multivocal narrative. The novel is not a monolithic or homogeneous form, but rather a dialogical or heteroglot one, where different voices interact and compete for authority. According to Bakhtin, the novel is a site of ideological struggle, where different discourses clash and negotiate with each other. The novelistic discourse is not neutral or transparent, but rather it reflects the values and interests of its author and its context. The novel is a product of its historical and cultural moment, and it participates in the ongoing construction of meaning and reality. Bakhtin emphasizes that the novel is not only a representation of different discourses, but also a critique and a transformation of them. The novel does not simply mirror the world, but it reimagines it and creates new possibilities for action and understanding. The novelistic discourse is not static or fixed, but rather it is dynamic and open to change. Bakhtin also discusses the role of the reader in the novelistic discourse. He argues that the reader is not a passive receiver of the author's message, but rather an active participant in the creation of meaning. The reader brings their own discourses and experiences to the novel, and they interpret it in their own way. The reader is not only a consumer, but also a producer of discourse, and they contribute to the ongoing dialogue of the novel. In conclusion, Bakhtin's essay, Discourse in the Novel, is a groundbreaking contribution to the study of literature and language. Bakhtin's theory of discourse and his analysis of the novel as a polyphonic and dialogical form have influenced generations of literary critics and theorists. Bakhtin's emphasis on the social and historical context of discourse, and his recognition of the role of the reader in the creation of meaning, have also been influential in other fields. Such as sociology, anthropology, and cultural studies.